guys and welcome back to Mickey Reaction Views, reacting to things on the internet, same day, same shirt, different video. It's actually a jumper, but you know what I mean. Anyway, today we're going to react to Adam Calhoun's and Tom McDonald's controversy that's been going on when it comes to ch uh, charting on the billboards and just talking a bit about the music industry and how they kind of fuck over independent artists. I'm going to be reacting to Adam Calhoun's uh, version of the story, which is basically identical to Tom McDonald's version of the story reason why I'm reacting to Adam Calhoun's video because it's a bit shorter where Tom McDonald's is in two parts it's a lot more longer but it's a lot more detailed and I do appreciate that about Tom McDonald but I just want to listen to this one because it's shorter if you want to uh, listen to the Tom McDonald side of things which again is the exact same story as Adam Calhoun's the exact same story uh, the exact same point of view because they worked on an album together uh, it's just longer and more detailed so if you are an independent artist and you want to get into the music industry, I actually would say I would prefer you listen to Tom McDonald's because it might really give you some insight. I know the Hog fam will rather me do Tom McDonald version. I'm going to do Adam Calhoun. They're BFFs now, guys. So just, it's okay. Anyway, guys, we're going to get right into it. But before you do, if you like this type of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. I'm going to support the channel even further. You can donate. My PayPal my link is in the description box below and also in the comment section. Of course, it helps. If you don't have to, you can just like, comment, and subscribe. Another great way to support the channel is either join my brand new membership program, different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit my brand new merch shop links down below and links to all the alternative platforms i'm on social media accounts and all the ways you can support me links down below also if you are an independent artist and you like me to react to your song or play it in my intro hit me up on my email and let's do business other than that sit back relax and enjoy the video all right here we go we're going to the end of my driveway and uh with these that's how you going to get there so anyone that sees this video these are my, all my billboard plaques, minus America. Come pick them up, they're yours. They'll be there until someone picks them up. Me being in this false reality social media world is, I don't handle it well. A lot of people on the internet that have bigger followings, they lie a lot. It's not their real life that they're living. It's just like this character that they made. I don't know how to f***ing do that. So I'm gonna try to explain to you this billboard shit. It's real simple. Me and Tom McDonald did an album. It's called The Brave. We put it out. We put both of our social media platforms behind it. Both of our money behind it. No managers, no publicists, no deal, no distribution deal, no nothing. Just me and Tom, and that was it. And obviously Nova, you know, directed the videos. Kevin shot them and my parts. We put that album out and it hit eight number ones. Billboard did an article on it. They put us at number four on the independent charts. Number four. Do you know who was in front of us? Encanto, the Disney movie. Disney. How are they an independent artist? Disney is worth a hundred billion dollars. So it's like they set up this system where you can't even, you can't win if you're independent, but we, we did win. We kicked the door down and Believe me, they're watching and they see who, who are these guys and how, what, how did they do this? We're going to make it. Independent artists are going to make it so that mainstream artists ain't shit anymore. Stopping it there. Um, yeah, I actually saw a little clip of Tim Dillon podcast and he was speaking to some other sort of more mainstream comedian. I don't know her name. But he was she was kind of like poo pooing on him because she was like, oh, you have this little podcast, but like you're not a celebrity and I rub elbows with celebrities and he made a good point it's like no one cares no one gives a fuck about celebrities now and by the way you're not any hollywood i'm you're young I'm internet young you've never been hollywood but that is hollywood no now. it's young internet no but that no, is hollywood, hollywood still now. exists no it, no one yes, cares about your friends like sandra bullock I'm no saying, one cares about them i'm just saying no one okay. cares i can be standing next to brad pitt and be like oh my god it's brad pitt and then like some 19 year old will be screaming over some tiktoker who has 55 million followers you know what I mean? Like old school celebrity is really dying. The mainstream media is dying. The mainstream platform is dying. And that's why they like to attack platforms like YouTube and try to point out what they say are the worst bad actors and that the, you know, the ads and, and sponsorships just pull out and blah, 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 because they are freaking out because they're losing support. Why do you think people like Will Smith has a YouTube channel? His, his YouTube videos probably get more views and more loves in his recent movies because they suck now. So, like, he has a really good point that at some point the mainstream won't really matter anymore. Or what they do, will do is the mainstream will pretend to be independent, like, I guess, Disney <laughs> to cure support or whatever. Or a lot of people will start to try to infiltrate 
these sort of alternative platforms eventually. That's eventually what's going to happen. Like YouTube would just be the new Netflix at some point. But um, anyway, let's continue. You don't need deals. If you have a huge social media platform, what do you need a deal for? If you know how to market it right and your music's good and you have a following that loves you, you're going to sell tons of records. And that's what we did. We sold more digital copies than any independent artist in history. Me I totally agree with him. If you are any type of artist, if you are a singer, a rapper, if you're a dancer, if you're a writer, if you're an actor, composer, a painter, whatever, you do not need the industry anymore to say, we think you're worthy, here's some money, here's some help. You can promote yourself. I mean, it's a lot of hard work. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't have the worth ethic of Donald Tomadano, Adam Cahoon, or Dax. I don't, and that's okay with me because like I'm fine with my little lane, right? But like, if you want to get big, if you want to sell as m more records to any in independent artist in history, you gotta like literally grind every. You gotta be grinding in your sleep, right? It's a lot of hard work, but I feel like to me, as someone who's who worked for myself for the last 13 years, even when it's hard, even when you're struggling, it is so much more rewarding than, you know, you feel like you got there just because you, this this team and the, and it, like studios and managements and agents and the industry, they create your image, they create your brand. And I'm gonna do a video on that another day, but like this guy, like literally, um, cause his agent doesn't want him to, he can't make music, he can't even put his face on social media for six years because they own his image. Like that's how his contract was and that is not unusual. Like they own who they made you to be, right? And so like, it's so much more rewarding. He'd be like, I did it on my own, I did it how I wanted to do I said how I wanted to say it I was who I wanted to be yeah I may not have bazillions like Jay-Z and I may not have the power of Beyonce but like I can go to sleep at night feeling better about myself just because you're rich and famous doesn't mean you feel good doesn't mean you really won right because like a lot of them kill themselves and, and take pills and are incredibly depressed and go to rehab because they're not happy anyway let's continue and Tom sold like 20,000 digital copies and then we sold a shit ton of physical copies and they wouldn't count the physical copies because if they did that we would have been number two or number one they don't want us up there they don't you think they want us two guys that they can't tell us what to do they can't tell us what to rap about they can't tell us shit so those billboards that i put at the front of my driveway they don't mean shit what, 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 what. i don't i'm not complaining about oh my god they're holding us back i'm ah i'm a i'm a fighter man i'm, I'm angry at like yo why i want i want to slap these dudes you know what i'm saying but it's like i'm super excited for what we did me and tom did and we couldn't have done that without the help of you guys we're in, we're completely independent so that means everyone who supports us supports what we're doing right so thank you to all of you guys you guys went crazy hard and and bought all the digitals you could bought all the fizzles you could everything that that came with the album you guys back this album it was insane all the love and all the reactors on youtube shout out to all you guys and push this album so far we have a video we dropped two weeks ago it's still trending on youtube like so it's almost like i'm sitting here complaining about my success and, and that's not it it's just i'm never satisfied i'm not satisfied so my boot is on your throat and i'm i conquered i'm i won everything i took everything you know what i'm saying like that's the attitude and mentality you have to have. If you want to make it in this industry, you got to be an animal. You have to outwork everyone. And when you're not working on your craft, rapping or, or whatever, you got to be working in the gym. You got to be lifting, running. I, mean, I don't stop. And neither does time. That's the last thing I'm going to say about Billboard. We did really good. We went further than any other independent artist ever. And when I say independent, I'm talking about we don't have any. These independent artists that say they're independent, they have a branch of a record label that's their distribution. They have power behind them. They have the industry, a part of the industry behind them. And that's what you need. You need a part of the industry to push you and put banners on iTunes and put your shit all over the place. We didn't have that. We had us and you guys. That's all we had. Completely independent artists. And there's a few other of them that are my friends. You guys, you know, I, I do music with them. You guys know who I'm talking about. That's not who I'm saying is not independent. There's a lot of... He's probably talking about Creek Squad, but let's continue. These other independent artists that are in the game that say they're independent, that are not independent. I don't know if I explained it well or not. All I know is there's a big difference in my head from independent and what the industry is calling independent. We're independent. 
two guys, me and Tom McDonald, put our money together, put our social medias together, put everything that we had and put it out there together with no help from anything from the industry. And I want to say thank you to you guys. It's a victory for me. Of course, we always want to be the biggest number one the, the, on the top 200. That's the big deal. And we and we fell short from that number one goal on the top 200 on Billboard. But we smashed everything else. They wouldn't count our physical copies. If they would have counted our physical copies, they would have had a severe problem on their hands. They would have had us at number one. Um, but that's not what happened. And that's okay. We we kicked down the door. And I'm telling you guys right now, anybody who's watching that is an artist. If you hate me or love me or whatever, I don't care. You guys, that's what you need to start doing. You need to start doing joint projects together. Put your socials together. Put your money together. Soon, if everyone keeps doing that, joint projects plus solo projects keep pumping out all this material, mainstream, they're going to kick rocks. We're going to take over. Right now, the independent artist is going to start running shit. I'm telling you guys, we just kicked the door completely off the hinges. I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and the support. I'm not mad. I'm a little mad, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm happy. I have a good life, and that's because of you guys, and I really appreciate it, man. And that's why I will never sign my name to any kind of contract whatsoever. I love you guys. Have a good day, man. All right, guys, that was Adam Calhoun. Talk about him and Tom McDonald uh, getting screwed over by the Billboard charts company, I guess. Um, you know what? Selling physical copies is so much more impressive than selling digital copies because, like, digital is easy. You just go and you push a button, it's there. Selling a physical copy, like, you have to put more work into it. And because, like, yeah, CDs are a bit archaic, so a lot of it, to convince someone to buy something like that, that's really gonna be like a vanity piece that you're gonna just probably like put on your wall or set up and just show what you bought. You're like a lot of people who buy these CDs probably don't even listen to them. They're just vanity pieces, right? And they want to do it to support the artist. That's power. I mean, I get that whole idea of like you just want to be the best. You want to be King Kong of the rap industry of that that industry because that's that's sort of the culture of that industry. Is this very macho, beat your chest, pissing contest competitiveness in this culture so I actually understand that me personally I would be fine with what I have like I'm not saying I wouldn't keep striving to have more and evolve and to keep doing better but like I'm I would personally be okay like if I know that I created art if I created a brand if I created a fan base off of truly who I am and being genuine and authentic like I would be happy with that but I understand that that industry is different and I'm just not Adam Cohen or Tom McDonald but I get that but I also but I also think because of that competitive it does stop people from collaborating like he so sort of suggested in the beginning uh, at the end of the video that these independent artists you guys should get together you should collaborate you should put you know your solos and your collaborations and you know that the more of us um, is, is more power right but because of that competitive competitiveness in this industry you see a lot of uh, M semi or independent artists sort of like butting heads because everyone's like rah 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 I'm the best I'm the biggest blah, 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 blah. right but like, you have to learn how to put that ego to the side at least for a second so you guys can work together collaborate together so you can knock down the doors of this music industry anyway guys tell me what you think of the video I hope you know my hawk fam isn't too disappointed I didn't react to Tom's video if you guys really really want me to I will just let me know in the comment section below please like comment subscribe hit the bell I get to notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. If you want to support the channel even further, you can donate. My PayPal my link is in the description box below. And also in the comment section, of course, it helps, but you don't have to. You can just like, comment, and subscribe. Another great way to support this channel is either join my brand new membership program, different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit my brand new merch shop. Links down below. I also have a second travel vlog channel. I travel as a lifestyle or I live abroad. If you'd like to know where I am in the world, you can go to the description box below and also in the comment section. Hit the link, go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me on my travel Instagram. My stories usually what's most up to date. And you guys have an amazing day.